Hey everyone, HHO for all. It's been a while since I did a video, so I figured I'd just throw something together and show you guys something I've been working on. Uh, this is a new version of the Volcano Cell. Um, put together uh, 17 bowls. They're stainless steel cat food dish, or cat food bowls, that I picked up at Walmart for 97 cents each. Um, I had to go to three different stores to end up getting all of these bowls. And I don't think it's something that they normally stock. So that's probably why I had such a hard time finding it. But um, I know you can probably find something similar at a 99 cent store or Dollar Tree or, you know, one of those dollar stores. I'm sure you could probably find something similar to this. Um, anyway, uh, I've got it set up uh, with three negatives and two positives. The way I connected the electrodes is I drilled a small hole on the side here on the lip and then I fed through stainless steel uh, cable tie and crimped it up and snipped it off with some tin snips and then I put these connectors over the top. It was a snug fit but then uh, I also crimped it down so that way I had a better connection. Um, ideally for the next design I'm just going to weld them on which I'm going to do with an HHO torch. So I should get a better connection if uh, if I weld them on there, then there shouldn't be any problem with it, you know, wobbling or coming loose or getting a bad connection on there. And um, these, uh, the gasket material is uh, the gasket material that I mentioned in a previous video, uh, actually a couple videos. Um, it's the, uh, it's a liner that you use for cabinets and it works perfect. I I'll tell you, this is the best find that I've had yet because this stuff doesn't slip, stays in place. It's really easy to cut, and um, it's it's way better than shower pan liner. Shower pan liner was a pain in the ass, and this, not so bad. Um, also, another little thing that I've come up with on this design was um, the bottom bowl. I didn't drill any holes on. Um, and the reason that I did that was because, for one, um, I didn't want to have a reservoir of electrolyte inside of the bottom bowl between the uh, gasket and the bowl. I, because, uh, you know, the more electrolyte that you charge, the higher your amperage is. So, I wanted to try to minimize that by not putting any holes in the bottom plate, or the bottom bowl. And then that way, each, pl each plate or bowl above that would have holes. But um, that would start the process. The very bottom would produce hydrogen. And then uh, it would travel up through the neutral plates up to the positive. And then it would travel up a few more neutral plates to the next negative, and, and so on. All the way up the line through the chambers and hopefully building pressure as it goes up through each chamber. And then as you get up to the top, uh, you got yourself a three quarter inch fitting over here, a hose barb. And uh, it's pretty much standard on most of the cells that I've been building lately. Um, three quarter inch fits perfectly with garden hose. And uh, it's pretty durable stuff, so you don't have to worry about it melting on you from heat issues. Not that my cells get that hot anyway, but um, anyway, it, I like dealing with, you know, some better materials when it comes to the hoses, just so that way I don't have any problems. And it's cheap enough. I mean, you, you can get garden hose for next to nothing. So, that's what I've got going on right now. Um, haven't hooked it up yet. I'm looking to do that in the next video. And uh, can't wait to see what the output looks like. So, anyway, this has been HHO for all. And I'm out of here.